Hi guys, it's another month. So we are doing our big grocery haul today. Um, so I am Mama Bear to Many. I am mom to 14 children. 12 of my children still live here at home. So we're feeding 14 on a regular basis. And I am going to go over at the end of this video, my menu plan, as well as some changes that I've made and that type of stuff like at the end of the video. So if you're interested in that type of stuff, then stay tuned to the end of the video. But for now, we're going to go through this haul. So my grocery budget for the month of June is $1,200 for 14 of us. And I, had a goal of like 600 ish today i was okay we ended up going just a smidgy i don't know you'll find out too later but 600 was my goal for the day because i was thinking if i had 600 that would be then each week i would have like 200 each week for the next three weeks to make it through the month to meet the 1200 dollars a month goal but this was also my big grocery haul. So I'll show you what I got. My kids so nicely put this on the table. Um, so I'm gonna just go through what I got and then at the end I'll tell you how I'm going to use um, each of these things that I got here. So I got a bunch of bananas. These mangoes um, are on sale for 54 cents. So I got a bunch of these. These ones are green so they won't be ready for a couple days. Um, but we will put them up in our nice little caddy here, which only has two lonely bananas left, which will probably get eaten tonight. Um, I got some nectarines. I planned on getting some cantaloupe. They actually had quite a few things that were out. So I planned on getting some cantaloupe. They didn't have the cantaloupe, so I ended up getting two bags of nectarines instead. So that's four pounds of nectarines. Um, I got two bags of these cherries, which are on sale for $2.98, which... Oh my goodness. Do you remember when you could get like fruits and vegetables for a dollar a pound? I do. Yep, that's how old I am. Anyway, um, red onions and white onions. Got three pounds of each of those. A bag of plums. Two um, pineapples. I got seven, I think seven sweet potatoes. Seven sweet potatoes should do us for a meal because we'll just cut them up into quarters and they will be going with a bunch of other things. I'll discuss later on how our diet is changing a little bit as well. Um, I got two honey mustards and then two stone ground mustards here, both Dijon mustards. And then I got two of these red wine vinegars and I got four of the lemon juices. I got a bunch of frozen veggies. So that was another thing they didn't have a lot of. So I ended up getting mixed things. As you can see, some of them are sugar snack, pea stir fry, some of them deluxe, and some of them are broccoli. All together, there's 12 bags. So it's stir fry, you can throw them all together. And then I wanted to get broccoli, and I couldn't get broccoli. First I wanted to get fresh broccoli, and the fresh broccoli did not look, oh my goodness, you should have seen it. Most of the heads for broccoli were like yellow, and I'm thinking, why it's season for broccoli um anyway so i only got three little heads there and that's going to be for something specific they had absolutely no cauliflower um broccoli cuts here i wanted to get a bunch of bags of those and there was only two so i got the two um the cherry berry blend um three pounds we got four bags of those. I got two cabbages, which there was only three available. I took two. A bag of carrots. I ended up getting these kind of cucumbers. They were 64 cents. I cannot wait until they start coming in the garden. Yay, yay. I'll be excited for that. But this is going to be for a, um, you'll see in the um, later on when I share with you what we're cooking. I got two of the green kales, organic. They had no romaine lettuce, which is always helpful. No any type of organic lettuce. Um, so this is the only thing that they had, which was the spring mix. So I ended up getting two of those. I got one organic tomato. I got two of these um, cheddar cheeses, two pounds of cheddar cheese. They only had, I usually get these big 
um, containers of sour cream. They only had one, so then I got two of the smaller containers. Um, cream cheese, I think I got eight. Yeah, I think I got eight altogether. You'll find out what I'm doing with that as well. I got a bag of pepperoni. I got four almond milks. Then we have a thing of half and half, two very large watermelons, which were on rollback for $6.98, I want to say. This will actually, if we cut it, this would do one, two, three, four, like that. And then I got two flats of these that goes there. So we have one flat that is the peas, and one flat is corn. I got six big containers of this peanut butter. Um, they did not have the other peanut butter that I usually get. I might end up ordering some on Amazon. This has seven carbs, but there is no sugar in it. So, hey, that's what we're doing. Okay, then I have some meat. So I bought the meat for the month. So this is um, what I'm using to make some meals for the month. So I will prep these meals probably tomorrow and I'll share that with you. Um, I have, let's see, I got five of these. There's only five of these. I could only get five of the three packs. And then I could get, I think that was $7 a pound six something a pound maybe it was 650 a pound and then i got um three individual ones because yeah we didn't have enough i'm going to mix with this i think some sheep that we already have i'll share that in a later video um then i got a bunch of chicken breast i think i needed 20 pounds i got over 20 pounds of the chicken breast there and then i got two cases of the beef burgers. So that is it. Oh, I didn't even say these. I got, um, these are the sugar-free ones. If you get the sugar-free ones, they are, let me see, two carbs. And the other ones are anywhere from seven to 15 carbs. So if you're getting these, make sure you get sugar-free. This is sweet and spicy. I also got, they have a hickory, yeah. Sugar-free hickory. Um, I was just, getting those to go on some of the other chicken I have. So I will share with you some things that are gonna get prepped for the month. And yeah, frozen veggies, it was like so frustrating. Not much, not much. I'd say one of my biggest challenges is um, getting like, so if I have a diet and I have a plan that I want to go with, I can never get, like, I feel like I can never get enough. Just like the romaine, I wanted like, four bags of romaine. There was no romaine. I wanted broccoli. There was no broccoli. Um, that's very common. We live in a very small town and it's just very common for things to be out or only to have like a couple, like to have three cabbages there then whatever. And anytime that I can, then I'll try to save whatever if there is for people, but there isn't always enough because that's just how it is because if there's two packages of salad and I need two packages just to last me like to have like one meal or two packages of anything to have one meal well I'm gonna buy the two packages just how it works anyway that is the haul and I'm going to talk about what we're gonna eat okay so we're gonna talk about what we are going to eat so we have had a discussion um if you hear stuff in the background my daughter she is actually making um Oh, maple mustard pork. Yum. Super excited about that. We haven't had it in a while. Actually, we used up all of our freezer bags a while ago. And then she said we had pork chops in the freezer. And I was like, yay, I would love maple mustard pork. That sounds like a great idea. So she is doing that. Um, we're just going to go over um, our changes and our meals and that type of stuff. So my husband and I recently took a child to... Um, the rheumatologist. We have quite a few different children that have some autoimmune conditions. Um, some of them are really simple, like like eczema is really like, or like skin issues can be like, yeah, autoimmune, right? Sometimes stomach things can be autoimmune. There's so many just different 
variations of what can be autoimmune. Um, we do have, sorry, let me just move like this. My daughter is busy back there, so I don't want to bug her either. Um, so we have lots of different things. And recently we, when we went to the doctor, it's really kind of frustrating because um, a lot of times if you have like one of the more serious autoimmune conditions, such as scleroderma, sore joints, lupus, like those types of things. Um, if you have those types of conditions, a lot of times you go to the doctor and they're like, yeah, well, we can try to give you this medication so it looks better, but it's not going to help you. And it's, it's really discouraging. Um, we might eventually talk about that journey, but it's still a journey. Um, and it's also difficult because we have a large family and we have different things. We do know, like my husband and I were talking, um, after my son had died, my daughter had gotten sick and we had to, we went to like a natural doctor and because of the stuff that she was on, we needed to cut out like everything, wheat, soy, corn, um, <laughs> trying to think what else, wheat, soy, corn, um, and then just like raw dairy, um, or limited dairy, not as much dairy. And we all felt really good when we did that. It's hard. It's really hard not to have grains, but we do find in our households that grains really seem to affect our systems. So, um, we decided that we needed a little regroup and then see how everyone was feeling after we do like this regroup. So I think the regroup might be, I don't know, a couple months probably. And then we'll just see and go from like, see where we're at and then go from there. So currently we do not have pretty much anything coming out of the garden. Occasionally we can pick a little bit of broccoli and just snack on it or peas and snack on them. Um, I think I can pull some rhubarb. I'm going to do that pretty soon. Probably today. I should do it today. Anyway. I'm going to give you my menu. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's been a long day. Um, my oldest son came up and asked if we wanted to take... So we went camping yesterday. We got home late yesterday afternoon. I knew I wanted to go shopping today because I never like to keep a bunch of stuff in the fridge. So the next day I always like to go shopping and it just worked out that I could go big shopping this time. I was going to try to wait till we went to the city on Monday, but we have a bunch of appointments and a bunch of things and I just can't do it. And I would have had to go to a couple different stores and that's been difficult for me. Like lately doing multiple things. I'm not... Yeah, I think my iron might be low. Um, I just ordered some. So I think I'm going to do that and see how I feel. I've been getting out of breath like more than normal um, quite a bit lately. And that's kind of like a key trigger of when I know that my iron's starting to get low. So um, let's talk about this list. So basically, we're kind of reverting back to that. Um, paleo, keto type diet. I need to also start to do more fermented foods. So I know that that really helps your gut health, which then in turn helps the rest of your system. So that might be something that you guys see me start to transition over to and do different things. We used to do water kefir before, kombucha, those types of things. I think I'm going to start, I do have a um, kombucha that I can start soon, like tonight, tomorrow. Could at least start with something. So what I have written down here for breakfast is Sunday would be homemade granola and milk or almond milk, depending on the child. It would be either our raw milk or almond milk. Um, Monday is going to be keto sausage balls and then a smoothie. So the packages of the berries are going to be for the smoothie. So basically what I do is I take about a cup for a full blender, which would make about four cups um, of the size. Sometimes it would do a little bit more. We, For our family size, we usually would do three full blenders. 
So I don't know how that breaks down. The little kids get a lot less than older kids. Oh. And then there's usually someone that doesn't end up having one. Um, but I really want to try to pack that nutrition in there. Um, I think that magnesium for me would be really good. And that's a good way that I can get, um, just because my legs have been like kind of crampy and stuff. I get varicose veins. I know, TMI, but it's just, yeah, anyway. And I, I have solutions for them and it works well, but sometimes I just feel like, yeah, they're crampy and not actually like the varicose veins themselves. And I think that it's like the magnesium and dehydration and I need to just be aware of that, right? If you know your body, then you know how to be aware of each of these things and key characteristics for, hey, when this happens, then I need to pay closer eye to this. Because as moms and wives and mothers, we tend to put everyone else first and you're not thinking, hey, I haven't drank half the day. Um, or that's me. And I'm like, oh yeah, I'm really thirsty right now. So um, we're going to do keto sausage balls and then smoothies. Now I'm going to prep a huge batch of those keto sausage balls um, for the month. This is my plan, is do a huge batch of the keto sausage balls for the month and then freeze them. They freeze really nicely. And then um, the smoothie would be one cup of greens and then I take berries, which is usually about a cup of berries, and then we'll put almond milk inside of that and wars it all up. If I have other things like collagen powder, I might put collagen powder in there. I might put like powdered peanut butter stuff. Um, I might put like a something on top of it, but I might not. I might just leave it like that. It really just depends. Um, and that turns out really nice for us. Oh. So hopefully those greens will be able to be part of like our garden of greens. I don't know, I'll have to see what I have. So Tuesdays will be yogurt, which would be homemade yogurt from our raw cow's milk um, that we make in the Instapot. And then we would add some berries and some granola to the top of that. I'm going to make a big batch of granola. I have a video that has a granola and granola bars. Um, I'm going to share with you hopefully this coming week a keto granola um, that I make as well. And I think what I'm going to do because of the, the grain type thing is I think I might make a big batch of that keto granola for the tops of the yogurts and for the, um, the Sunday just eating granola and milk. Okay, so let's see, that would be yogurt for Tuesday. Wednesday is going to be fried eggs, kale, and onions. So I would use a whole bag of the kale. This size, I would do two whole onions, and then I do about two tablespoons of garlic, and I'll saute that in some coconut oil, some lard, some butter, whatever I have. I'll saute that all together, plop some salt on top of that, and yeah, the kids love that. And then we will fry eggs to go with that, so it'd be eggs and kale. So Thursday would be yogurt again with that granola and berries. We also have canned berries. Um, so most likely the two yogurts would be with canned berries. Now, if I have yogurt at the end of the week after that meal, what I would do is I would take over my leftover yogurt from those two days, which probably would be like a gallon for each day, but there probably would be like this much in each gallon left. And I'll take those and I'll whip them up with some um, blueberries, any type of berry. I'll whip that up together and then I will throw them into freezer pops to make like pretty much a free type snack. So that's what I would do with the extras of that. On Friday, we are going to have sausage balls and smoothie again. And then Saturday is going to be fried eggs, kales, kale, and onions. Okay, so then um, lunches. Lunches can get kind of tricky but <coughs> just because we have lots of things planned over the next few weeks, you know, we don't know what's going to happen with this baby. We don't know if there's a time that I'm going to have to be away for a while. So we're just trying to enjoy Mom, each of these moments. Me. Oh goodness. Each of these I'm moments with our children together. Okay. You can get wet. 
Okay. okay. Yes, it's you, I see you. Why do you have to see in your mouth? That's really fresh. It's not nice to show people inside of your mouth, okay? You can smile. Are you gonna play outside with the water? I love you. Bye-bye. You love them. Bye-bye. She's going Bye-bye. I'm going to go outside and play somebody. Okay. Um, so Sunday will be packed lunch. And I think what I'm going to do, that's where most of the chicken comes in. I want to cut all that up into chicken strips, into keto chicken strips, and cook a bunch of chicken strips. <coughs> and just prep those for when we go. So it'll be chicken strips. And then I am going to be making a huge cold salad and there'll be cold salad for that as well. And then fruit. So depending on the week, we'll be doing a different cold salad. This week I'm gonna do like an Italian cold salad. Um, so that's what that's gonna look like. And then next week, somebody else can choose which type of salad we want and go from there. I did, um, write a whole new list of chores and stuff. So everyone's gonna have a kitchen day so that they can learn different skills. So we're gonna be doing that over the next little bit. Um, probably the next couple months, we'll just, we'll get into that so people can like really get their skills in the kitchen now. So we'll have that cold salad and then fruit and then Monday. So, my husband's home on Monday, so I want it to be something bigger, something that he enjoyed. Um, so we'll do hamburgers and chicken on the grill, and then, um, and or Italian sausages. We might just do like a huge thing of hamburgers, chicken, Italian sausage. That sounds like a lot, but then put it in the fridge. <coughs> oh, goodness. Put it in the fridge for the rest of the week so that we can like put those into my husband's packed lunches. So hamburgers, chicken, Italian sausage, or any sausage really. We have all that sausage that we made with that pig. Um, and then cold salad for Monday lunch. So Tuesday is going to be taco salad. And then Wednesday will be stir fry veggies. And that will be six of those bags of vegetables along with whatever meat the person chooses. So that could be like steak or pork chops like tonight or chicken or whatever there is in the freezer that's not already made into a meal they would just do the vegetables and those all together um we are trying to avoid rice at this stage that's something normally that i do like a side of rice um but we are going to try not to do rice so i think the sides would look more like pickled beets and pickles or sauerkraut or like that's where like some of my some of my ferments are going to come in um for that as well maybe half an avocado or a part of an avocado might go with that as well and really just help to fill tummies and that that type of stuff so then thursday and friday are both freezer meals i still have a bunch of freezer meals in the freezer so we can work on those um saturday is going to be a big mac salad which is super yummy um, and has a special like Big Mac sauce on it. So that would be for Saturday. So then for suppers, <coughs> yes, for lunches, we don't eat like sandwiches and chips. We eat like meals like we would for supper. So it's going to look similar. Um, Sunday would be a cold salad. So basically like if we're going to church, I'm going to bring like a big cold salad, chicken strips, like different things that I can pack for a lunch and then we'll go to church and then we'll go someplace after church and have the food. So that's what that will look like. And let's see, so Monday will be leftovers. Tuesday, that's what the cabbages were for. So we'll take whatever is left over from the tacos and I'll mix in cabbage, onion, carrots, peas into a stir fry and make like just a big, um stir fry bowl with that and then wednesday is going to be um stir fry and veggies so it would be the same for lunch and the same for dinner and then thursday freezer meal and then friday freezer meal again 
and those I had actually Brussels sprouts and broccoli for those for like their sides but we don't have Brussels sprouts or they didn't have Brussels sprouts or broccoli so that's not happening um and then Saturday night would be a roast in the Instapot, sweet potatoes, and veggies. So that is it. What I'm planning to do, I have my list here. So then I have my plan of things I'm going to do. So my meat that I just bought, plus the meat that I want to make into things, is going to come in either into my fridge or fridges and like thaw so tomorrow we can get these together so i need to make four bags for the big mac salad which is just going to be four pounds of ground beef um all like sauteed up because you make a dressing and stuff on top of that but all it will be is ground meat that's cooked so four bags of that and then four bags of taco so it will have the taco seasoning and stuff in it um so those will be all set and then I'm going to do um, packages of chicken strips. So all that chicken, let's see, seven packages, roughly three pounds each, um, a little over three pounds each. So like 21 pounds will just all be made into chicken strips. And then I'm going to do my recipe of sausage balls times eight, which should be enough for us to have. I think that I already bumped the recipe up. I might have to do it again, but I'm not entirely sure. So the cream cheese that I bought would actually go for those sausage balls. So it has almond flour, cheddar cheese, Italian seasoning, baking powder, sausage, cream cheese, and garlic. So I'll do the sausage balls, um, and then I wanna do the big batch of the keto granola. I also need to make a big thing of Italian seasoning and a big thing of Italian seasoning, Italian dressing to go with my veggies. <coughs> and then um, a big thing or a thing of ranch to go for dipping. I think that's it. Oh, and then I need to figure out any additional snacks I'm gonna make. The pollen has been horrible. Like it's yellow all in the puddles, yuck. Anyway, so for snacks, this, for snacks this week, I bought two bags of cherries. One bag will be per snack. I have two watermelon. Those will actually be two snacks, but then the other one would equal two and that would be with meals. Um, I had two cantaloupe written down, actually three cantaloupe written down for two snacks, and that's not happening because there was no cantaloupe, so we are doing um, the nectarines, and then I had two pineapple for two snacks, and then two snacks of mango, which is 12 mangoes, and then four snacks of bananas. So for bananas, um, Sweet Pea probably will not have bananas. She'll probably have something else. I do have frozen things too. If we don't have anything fresh um, that she wants, we, she could, could have like a bowl of frozen berries and she really likes that type of stuff. So that is about it. So the grand total that I spent was $629.13. So a little over my $600 budget. Um, but it still leaves me roughly $200 per week to buy the other types of things. We also worked on, um, one of my daughters actually had my phone and was kind of like directing the whole thing, which was good. There's different things that, um, I take over a lot. I do a lot just without thinking it. Um, and then realizing that I might not be around, like if the baby has issues or whatever, that if I need it to be someplace that um, people would need to have to try to come together and take care of those things. So I'm kind of thinking that through and prepping those things as well. I think it will be a good thing for us tomorrow just to make sure that we have all these things prepped for the month. Um, and then I also want to look to see what we have and maybe I'll do a freezer meal day. I'm not quite sure what I have as far as meat and such. Um, but just trying to figure it out and do the thing. So basically the food that I got today is pretty much 
Just, oh, so pretty. Oh, these ones too. Thank you. Oh, they smell so yummy. Thank you. Are they beautiful? Did you smell them? Okay, see you later. Cut some flowers and head of broccoli. Um, yeah, so that is where I'm in it budget wise. That's where I'm at budget wise. I never did discuss the hamburger thing or the meat thing. So originally last month, I wanted to try to buy like a quarter cow and then later buy half a cow. But the price per pound on the cow was over $10. And I was like, you know, financially right now, I think we're hamburger type people because I can get hamburger for six fifty. dollars um, I'm okay not to have all the cuts at this point. Um, hopefully, eventually we'll be back in business with our cows. Maybe eventually we'll be blessed and we'll have, you know, a different scenario. But I was okay last month changing my mind and saying, okay, this is not working. I cannot fit in this budget and save that $500. So this month I'm just doing my straight budget of 1200, which is less than what I was doing before. Um, but I'm just trying to stick in that budget. So that's where we're at. I'm just trying to figure it out, guys. Just trying to figure it out. Um, right now, not too much is stock up, which kind of gets me a little worried, right? Because it's like you want to always be stocking your pantry. At the same time, it's like my budget really isn't allowing for that extra to stock. I mean, I am a little bit, right? So like we're not going to eat 12 cans of corn in the month. <coughs> we could if I chose that, but normally I would choose something that um, I would choose something that's something that we grow and I canned. But what I'm hoping is, Lord willing, that once we start getting things in the summer as far as vegetables go, then I can incorporate that into meals more and then that money there would actually be able to um, stock up some other things that I need stocking. Does that make sense? Like that would like clear up that budget a little bit to be able to stock up some things. And also things that I don't have right now. Like I totally ran out of tomato sauce. Um, yeah, there's quite a few things that I actually ran out of this year. Pretty low in applesauce. So all those things will need to get canned up again this year. So yeah, that's where we're at. That's what we're doing. That's how I'm, that's how I'm doing it on a $1,200 budget. Um, at this point, um, I've got a lot of comments of people saying, well, you grow all your own meat. So of course you can, um, stay within that budget. The meat that I have right now, I have some sheep. I have, um, I'm using it very sparingly and it needs to be like mixed in with other things. And I have, um, pork. That's, pr I have pork. That's pretty much what I have. I don't have like chickens from last year. I don't have beef. Um, that's what I'm doing. So I am buying a good percentage of our meat currently. And that's just what it looks like right now. So this is just me trying to stretch it. But yeah, at the same time, eating like a clean diet of fruit, veggie and meat. And it can be difficult on a budget. At the same time, I feel like Health-wise, it's so much better for myself and my family if we're eating this way. So that's kind of like the sacrifice mentally that I need to make in order to like make it work for us and then figure out, hey, how can I stretch those things? Maybe I'm using cauliflower and throwing that in instead of rice. Maybe I'm using cabbage to stretch it bigger like that. They have little cabbages, they're like this big. And I, uh, my daughter said that we have a couple little cauliflower heads. So that's exciting too. I mean, this is how much broccoli that we're getting. So pretty much the kids will all like grab a piece and be like, oh, this is so yummy. Yeah. I never have been very successful in growing like enough to freeze. 
but it's enjoyable while you can. Little enjoyable little tidbits of broccoli. Same with peas, I just bought peas, but it's like just go through and snack on the peas because I never grow enough. Any tips and tricks to actually grow enough to like can peas? I'd got gladly hear them. So I hope you all are sticking in your budget. Um, what are your biggest challenges in your budget? <clears throat> are you able to, are you, are you changing it in any way? And what ways are you changing it? I'd love to hear that down in the comments below. So let's chat about this food budget. Have a great day, guys.